build on Connie. He's on screen right now. Focus looking like this. We have jump start, slippery, endurance. Gives us high mobility to be able to run as much as possible in the game without dying. That is the goal. Hopefully it works. We'll find out in the gameplay. Alongside that, we have our Saboteur perk here. This perk here works really well with the recent changes to Fusebox. As Fusebox has an interaction now of being on cooldown. So what ends up happening? When it does go on cooldown, the family can intercept it. And after it's been off cooldown, intercept it. And actually decline the option for victims to go through that basement exit. So this will increase that time that that can happen by 30 seconds at level 3. And should be a vital play to any Fusebox play on any map within this game as a victim. Skill tree looks like this as well. Keep that in mind. And copy it. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this. This seems to be the family house, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So it should be a hard match indeed. Let's have a bit of fun here. They should, the game needs to change the matchmaking system overall. That's all they need to do. They need to change it some way. Something better. And it kind of sucks. I'm taking the bone scrap just in case. They've got a hitchhiker. So keeping a bone scrap with me will help me in this scenario if I need to go upstairs and there's traps somewhere. Now this low face is going to be a bit scary. Ah, he's not next to me. Cool. He's right behind me. Oh, I could have opened it. What? I'm running into barrels. I should have died there. If he actually noticed that, I would have died. Yeah, five people need to be ready to start the game. I like that idea. But also, I think the queue time should just be shorter too. I think the idea is better when once you place like the same thing that other games have, like CSGO 2, when you sign, go into a match, everyone has to say accept, and then it gets you to the match. Then everyone that pressed accept, they're willing to play. There's no like, oh, people just jump in and quit after because they can't quit now. They've accepted the match. That could be a better system, but... Oh, shit. We'll see. That's future reference. Okay, nice. It's open. You made noise by running towards it. When you run towards it, it activates the uh, information. And then crouch. Let's go upstairs. In case he's been trapped by a hitchhiker, we can actually use a bone scrap to save us. Fuse box is right here. That's actually perfect. No trap on the location. So let's break this open. This seems like a bread and butter combo right here. The dream is here. You jump over this as well. Oh, they opened the front gate too. That front gate's having a party. This should be easy to display the actual perk because I'm not getting intercepted at the moment. Oh, fuse box is not here though. Sorry, the fuse spawn. There's a fuse spawn right here. If you're lucky, it makes the game so much easier for you if you're playing on Family House for fuse box uh, exit. Okay, the basement exit. Just like a very easy option. If it does spawn there, it gets a bit difficult. This has a double spawn, which is so annoying. It spawns on both that wall on both sides. They're fighting. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Very chill. Put the fuse in. Insert that. Turn it on. So for me, I just do the calculations that it's necessary. I did it wrong. And that's it. Opened. Now, this is on cooldown for a set period. And that is extended by 10 seconds at this current time. Because our perk is level 1. But level 3, it's 30 seconds. They shouldn't be able to stop it. Look, he's going down there to do something about it. But he really can't. Maybe not. Maybe he's just lost. Oh, uh, the basement's this way. 
Oh, well, he's gone. Uh, <laughs> so in situations that I could not be able to activate it, I won't be able to escape. But in this case, I can easily escape, even with intervention, because that duration has been increased. So this, if they try to intercept up there, the actual fuse box, I can leave instantly. Nice poison. She's confused as hell. So why is this place staying here? <laughs> oh, hey, Leland. Basher. That works too. And now what's happening? I'm taking care of the upstairs situation. In case it goes off cooldown. Right now, it's still on cooldown. See how long it's been on cooldown? It's completely safe. So that's the best part about it. So level 3, it's 30 seconds. And level 1, it's only 10 seconds. But that can be vital for yourself or your team members to reach the basement exit without being denied. So now it's off cooldown. Actually, I think that's how it works. I can't remember which cooldown is actually effects now. It shouldn't affect this cooldown too. All I need to do now is just camp here. That works every time. That's hilarious. She you noticed it. Look at her, look at her. <laughs> She's smiling. What a psycho. I get out of this. I should get out of this. Unless you lock the door. If you lock the door, she's actually pro. She ran out She ran out Oh, shit. I'm out. I'll make it out. No. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we have a bit more of an intense match here. I see it. I'm kind of cool with it. We need a level 3 perk, that's for sure. We need a level 3, but it's still pretty good. Oh, God. She went back to intercept. She didn't run out of stamina. She went back up top. She played the cooldown. He's collecting blood. Camping? Oh, she's feeding grappa. She's feeding grappa. I win. She's the only person that could have stopped me. No, 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 no. We out. Oh my god. 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 I'm out. I'm out. Oh, thank you. Absolutely, thank you. I was panicking. I was panicking there. <laughs> GG, GG. That was a lot of fun. But that was us highlighting the perk in action. It's kind of an interesting one to utilize this perk in action. Could be very good, very bad, I would say. Depending on how it affects the cooldown. In essence, I think it does affect the cooldown that is when you activate the, the ability and then stops perception, uh, interception from occurring between you and the family. That's what it should do in theory. But it could actually affect the cooldown when it's off, like when it's on cool, like when it's actually off, the door's been closed. It could affect that cooldown. So I'm actually unsure which cooldown it does affect here. But I've, it's, it's supposedly supposed to affect the first um, aspect, or well, the first thing we highlight that scenario, with the interception mechanic. It's supposed to stop that from occurring as much. But it's kind of interesting to play as victim and see that occur and do very well without Connie build. A lot, a lot of fun. If mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord. Code Lordia Game Subs, 410 off, and also btlmerch.com. Show support, greatly appreciated.